everybody and welcome. Oh, we have to update. Never mind, my bad. Ooh. Update, please. Oh, it is a different splash. Ooh, that looks pretty. Pum 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 pum. Hey, guess who did it? That's right. Two creatures in a friggin' row have unlocked now, and Kyla saw Gen Two being one of them. Thousand bucks. Ooh, I'll take it. Heck yeah. So I didn't realize. I I thought that and Kyla saw Gen Two. Um was already kind of in the... Oh, my God. 3,000. Oh, I'll take all that, too. Yes, please. So what else we got? Uh, we got a new boss, the Valkyrie 7-7. Seven, seven. Rule the skies. Give this fearsome Tranodon a place to land. Oh, sweet. Um, so that's the new playable boss. Um, oh, hell yeah. I'll take that. 120 uh, super DNA from that. I will hatch. Actually, I don't know why I, I put this guy in. Um, the oh that's right so not too long ago there was a offer I think it was 10% or 20% off all land creatures so I ended up buying every friggin super hybrid that's why we were on like 800,000 DNA and now we're on 500,000 DNA because I was like that, that deal is just too good to pass up uh, or one more on that and then we've got that upgraded let's have a quick look to see if there's anything important that we could get in here I'll take that another 700 VIP points. Heck yeah. Um, let's do a few refreshes to see if we can get any bucks, maybe, fingers crossed. Oh, yes, 95. Mm, it is losing VIP points. But if anything, I'm probably going to end up trading the VIP points for bucks anyway. Um, so we'll do decorations, the John Hammond statues. <gasps> We're almost out of guys. Hold your horses. What's going on here? Only one? Okay, right. Well, we can still do a trade. Uh, so I think it doesn't matter. As long as you got one, you can still get the trade. Um, however, I didn't even get the trade there. And I'll trade the coin. I'll trade the coin for 21 million. 21 million food. So we have a lot of John Hammonds. So uh, yeah, let's just... Uh, let's take a few of these and put them... You know, re ready for trading. Uh, we'll also open a car pack as well. Uh, so... I've had a lot of people report to me that in this game at the moment, there is a weird glitch. Uh, or there's a few weird glitches um, that have caused people's games to crash. Or oh, so I've heard. I haven't uh, opened the game since I last played it before this update. So I can't speak uh, to that. But what I will say is that Ludia have contacted me about said glitches and have said uh, to me that uh, to make you guys, or at least to as me as well, uh, to be, they are aware of it and they are working on a fix for it. So don't worry about it. They are, it, it will come eventually, uh, some sort of fix or some sort of patch. Um, kind of curious as to the, ah, so this is it. Oh, oh my God. Wow, we have so, we have so many already. So we need 9,000. So already, that is a solid, like, oh, we're halfway there already. <laughs> to unlock this guy, we've got boss DNA to claim. Eight daily missions. Okay, I'll take that. That was from the previous one. I assume that maybe I didn't even collect the 180 that I should have got. Great. So what are the other things? So hatch 15 Tyrandons. That's not too hard. Hatch 10 legendary creatures. Yeah, that's not hard. Fuse eight pterosaurs. Shouldn't be too hard. Just fusing. So hatch and fuse. So let's have a look. Right, we can we unlock this is the question. So let's go into Torandon. So we need to hatch 10. Um, I think it was. Was it 10 or at least fuse 10? So, well, the collaborators. Um, so we've got plenty to fuse here. However, um, we've got one to hatch. Is it free? Activate. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, let's see if there's another one. I think, is it a Lanqua? Is a Lanqua the first one you get? Uh, or is a Lanqua not even? No, there's a Lanqua. I feel like a Lanqua was one, or unless it was this guy, the Tropogonathrus. Uh, we have 30 of those. Hatch three books. Okay, now I'm assuming in less than a minute, it'll go to three. So we need a few. Oh, they oh, are even more super DNA. We need to hatch more of these super hybrids. I don't know whether or not it's going to cost the uh, super DNA to make it. It might do. We may get E750 in here. We got into Raptor when Fallen Kingdom came out. E750 from Camp Cretaceous. I wouldn't be surprised if that is its own super DNA. It might be even a Raptor DNA. Um, so I'm kind of 
curious as to like what that's going to do. So I don't want to spend anything just in case. I don't think it'll be a eupocephalus. I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't know what the event is that we've got to partake in. But I like this now that we've got our own uh, things to carry out with here. Uh, so some of the most expensive ones complete 200 daily missions. Um, use 50 pteranodons. That's not hard at all. Um, win 20 battles with mods. That's not hard. 10 battles with mods. Complete 60 battles. So if you wanted to, gain a 5,000 super DNA. Okay. There's definitely a... Like, I think once you unlock um, the Valkyrie 77, then you don't get the rest of the, the DNA. But I think they give you enough here. But I started with 1,000 anyway. Uh, so we need to hatch 15 Tyrandons and fuse 8 of them. And there you go. I knew it. Okay. Fair enough. Is, is that the, the best one, would we say? Or maybe there's an Alanqua. Hold on, let's have a look. Tyrandons, where's Alanqua? Do I not even have an Alanqua? I don't have Alanqua. I don't know why I don't have Alanqua. <laughs> it's 120 for Alanqua. Is it free? Oh, for God's sake, fine. <laughs> you know what? It's a tiny amount of bucks. I'll take, oh, we can fuse these guys. Never mind. Um, hopefully it'll be instant fusing. Uh, yeah, it is, okay, yeah. That, oh, oh, it's going to cost me extra DNA. Outrageous. But we'll do it. We, so we need to do eight of these. Um, it looks like the cheapest one to do really is going to be the Tuki Tukan. But if it means that, you know, I'll fuse this and it means I probably have to do or hatch, <laughs> have to hatch less of them, I should say. Um, oh, well, that's that then. I guess we're going to go back to the Tuki Tukan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me collect that. Oh, and we've got a new... What's the new VIP thing going to be? Is it going to be a card pack and then maybe another hatchery slot? It's a speed up. Oh, it's not even a card pack. So we've got more recoveries and more in some... Uh, fuses, I'll take. Really, I want more hatching. So, uh, no new buildings at the moment. Just not even... It should be... Everyone should be a card pack. That's what it should be. Really. I mean, look at the start with, you get all these buildings, uh, the DNA building, the food building, the creation building, the super DNA building, the instant recovery, and then instant hatchery. And then uh, after that, uh, there you go. <laughs> They've actually made this one look like it's something decent because, oh, a building? Nah, it's just more instant fuses, man. <laughs> but it looks interesting. And that's how they get you. So... We sped up three times. We need a hatch now. So we need more Tukis. Um, I'll put you in there. Activate you. So while that's in, let's have a look. So what are the what battles do we have to do at the moment? Welcome to Jurassic Park. Gives us... Oh, it's a discovery pack. Ooh. <gasps> we get books in it guaranteed? Oh, heck yeah. Let's do it. Um, now we needed to use Pteranodon so many times. So I'm just going to make this easy on myself. I'm just going to put an Indoraptor in. Uh, is the battle arena? No, it's it's the same old boring rubbish of the inside the visitor center, which has now been confirmed as destroyed in Camp Cretaceous, which is interesting. Um, never thought we'd actually see what happened to it. Did you think the volcano was going to destroy it? Um, wait a minute. That doesn't make sense. In Fallen Kingdom, do they go to the visitor center? No, they don't in Fallen Kingdom. That's right. So it wasn't melted by lava. I mean, it was eventually, but uh, it it, um, it was it was destroyed by a couple of kids <laughs> who pushed over some scaffolding that apparently was incredibly stu structurally integral to the building. So that once they pushed it, it did crumble. But hey ho, at least it did what it did. It served its purpose. Um, we still will never know what happened to the raptor in the friggin' freezer. I can't believe the the writers for Camp Cretaceous took us back to friggin the kit the, the kitchen not just the visitor center the kitchen and we we didn't get to see that raptor <sighs> I wouldn't even mind it if in um what's it called if in uh, Jurassic World if Zack and Gray actually went into the kitchen I can't believe that Colin Trevorrow didn't even think of that it's like ah oh, yeah let, let's put them in the kitchen for a second uh, we'll get the garage scene but why not the- Oh, the kitchen would have been so good! Okay, so we have one Alanqua. Then something else. We'll speed up that. 
take that out and put in another Indoraptor because we've got plenty of them and fusing them to make a level 40 is pretty much a waste because this way at least it guarantees that I get to kill them. Oh, you know what would be a really cool battle arena? If it was, the, it was an arena that was that scene from Jurassic Park where it's the first time that Dr. Grant and Ellie Sattler see a Brachiosaur and then you get that welcome to Jurassic Park scene. How cool would it be if the background was that shot and you were just on rolling green hills? That would be so cool. Ludia, I know you watch my videos. Please, I have so many ideas. <laughs> or at least put that in frigging Jurassic World Alive or something. That would be so cool. And it would look so good. The lighting would be beautiful. Instead of this like gringy, gungy purpley orange battle arena that I see every time I open this bloody game. <laughs> I like the helicopter pad. I really do. It's just not part of, you know, the rest, like these battle events. It's only for PvP, which I guess makes it special, but at the same time it's like, oh, I want to see something different. I never even see... Oh, we're glitching. I, ne we, I never even see the uh, Nublar Shores, I think it is, because that's part of something else as well. I think that's part of the gyrosphere. So one more. There we go. Activate that. And then we will have two more fuses. Um, let's get some more flyers. Because I think we need to use it 50 times. Is it? is it 50 times? It might be 50 times. Take you out. Put in another interrupter. And still got two. Still got two. Still got two. Even wasted extra DNA making the interrupter gen 2. Which could have been two more regular interrupters. Um, but I think... Actually, now I could make an Interruptor Gen 2 or an Interruptor and it'd be okay. I think. I think so. Um, oh, yes. Yes. So we're unlocking the Ankylosaur now. Um, I'm trying to think. So what What do we want to do? We, we kind of want to unlock Valkyrie. That's what I want to do in this. But it definitely feels as though... I mean, we've got the regular events that we can do, right? Like the regular boss DNA. That's still a thing. But these unique uh, boss DNA things uh, for unlocking... I don't know, man. I think... I think I... Even if I do get to unlock it... Actually, that's, that's a point. I wonder if we reach the 9,000, if all the other missions close off. And then we have to collect it. Or we can keep on doing the missions we haven't got just yet. So if you do, I think it's 10 missions a day. There it is. Oh, yes. A hundred bucks. I'll take it. I'll happily take it. And we need to do two Code 19s for some boss DNA anyway. Um, yeah, what was I going to say? Something about boss DNA. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> but, but it was something. Rest assured. Okay, is this a VIP creature? I mean, it looks like the Tuki Tukan, but it's definitely not. I think this is a VIP or a tournament creature. Yeah, it's definitely not a Toucan. Is it the or Ornithokyrus? Is that it? It looks similar to the Walking with Dinosaurs one, so that's what I'm going to say it is. Whoop. Guys, are you excited? I got another video after this one. Uh, two videos today. He's going friggin' nuts. He might even get it perfect on this. Oh, another 60. I'll take it. Yes. <laughs> Me. <laughs> oh, almost 400. Bing, bada, boom. Done and done. That is one code 19, but we still need to do more anyway. Do the welcome. Oh, look at this. Look at all the stuff. All the stuff. So hatch three Jurassic creatures. I didn't even realize that was part of it. Oh, right. That's part of the other one. That's part of the regular missions. Aha. Uh, we spared no expense. Thank you for your patience. Collect. What is that? What does that mean? I collect it. What is that? Oh! They gave a free pack? Oh, that's so nice of them. Oh, thank you. Another 100. Sweet and a Velociraptor. Plus 60 VIP points. Every little helps, guys. Every little helps. Um, more books. Oh, so much. Yeah. Um, I think we still need to hatch uh, some Tropica Goose. So there you are. Mm, don't think hats are... I think hats is probably a little bit longer. Well, oh, what's this? We can... <gasps> can we do some edit? Oh, we can choose whatever we want. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So what have we not unlocked? Oh, you can buy them. 
Right, so after the Spinosaur, it was Baronyx. And after the Baronyx, it was two Pandactylus. Um, we, you can buy a Rex for 200 bucks, or a Juggernaut or a Valkyrie. And then every other dinosaur is 50. You know what? That's actually not too bad. Oh, you can change the color as well? What? This is so cool. I love this. Oh, I like silver. Yes. Oh, you can kind of actually see the uh, the normal Spinosaur color through it. Oh, this is sweet. Oh, this looks so... This is amazing. Okay. Well, so we can have any of these dinosaurs if we want. Oh, let's have Indominus Indo Indo Rex always look better. Yes. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah, with the gold, you couldn't really see the normal colors. But this, they've just like turned uh, Indominus Rex's opacity down. And you can kind of see the inside of his mouth as well. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. I like, nice. Look here. Nobody asked you to do that. But you did that. That was a good idea. That was a really good idea. Okay, so now we need to fuse these guys. More Tyrannodons, and these should be instant fuses. Um, yeah. If anything, I'll just end up having to spend some more DNA. Uh, so I think it's eight we need to do of these, I think. So we'll evolve that. Da, da, da. And I think that's four? Could be four. Oh, we got one more. Yeah, okay, so we need to put one more in. So we'll hatch that. Oh, a code 19 strikes! This, oh, it's, uh, hello. <laughs> nice to see you again. <laughs> it's, it's nice that this game for a long time went through a period where you didn't really have much to do. Um, you would like log in, you'd get your free pack. You'd maybe do a battle event because, you know, you did, had one every day um, to do like some sort of battle. And then that was kind of it. Whereas now you've got all these daily, daily missions, which means the, you know, and they change, so they're not always the same. Sorry if I'm a bit, <laughs> I've got a new uh, aligner in and it's, I'm sort of biting the side of my tongue. So I'm trying to like, not put my tongue over to that side. <laughs> oh no, no, it could have been perfect. <laughs> you fool. Well, we got a boss mission and that's all I care about. Um, or maybe it wasn't, was it not? Oh, okay, so we've got a pet 10. Pet 10 and fuse two amphibians, two amphibians. Uh, or was it two times? Okay, so we're gonna pet. We're gonna pet War T Rex. War Rexy. Ten times because she's. I've got ten exact T Rexes. So we can just go through here. Ooh. You know, they should add an icon that shows you if uh, you have a dinosaur that needs um, books or something collecting from. I think they might actually. If I go into. Oh, another code 90. If I go. Yeah, look at this. So we can go to him and. Oh, no. No, we don't. Okay. Rexy Gen 2, heck yeah, let's let's do this. It was 300 nod DNA, which means that it's more than 300. Yeah, 15, okay, 15, 30, 60. As long as we get this every time and we don't fail. Ooh, is it gonna be one along the bottom now? Is it? Oh, it's not. What? Yeah, cheeky, get you. I clicked it. Game. It was like, nah, not having it. Not gonna let you do that one. So I failed two there, which means I don't think I'm gonna get to the end. Maybe I will. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Okay, so we're, we're not gonna get the most of our DNA out of this one because the game decided to jip me. I would. Oh, ah, I thought I'd done it. <laughs> Nuts. Well, some more super DNA, and I guess that actually goes towards some sort of mission, right? So we've done that one. Um, so we need to hatch a couple more. We need to fuse four more. What else we got? Gain a thousand DNA, gain 2000 super DNA, 5000 super DNA, do so many battles, win 10, 10 battles with mods, daily missions, and then use 50 Tyrannons, which really isn't that much. But we do have, we have 5000 DNA, right? And if we wanted to, a boss DNA, we could put that on Juggernaut and just make it level 40. If we really, 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 really wanted to, which I wouldn't suggest, um, because then it's going to take even longer to get the other one. Where's Tuki? There's Tuki. I did you, Tuki, Tuki. Right, what other events do we have? Uh, what's the battle stage infinite? Ooh, it's a common pack. Ooh. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky. Like, maybe... <sighs> It's, if we had all amphibians, okay, all amphibians, what we like? Um, it's uh, 
I feel like... Oh, man. Oh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I'm, I'm tempted to do this. Oh. Should we do it? I mean, these are the way these battle infinites go, right? You've got one chance. And then you've got to wait like a day or however long it is to get your creatures back. So we need to block. We just need to block. Because we've got a Gorgasuchus so that it comes in with 3,000 and odd attack. And I think it may be... Oh! Okay. Okay. Okay, we can go for one block, one reserve. I'll take that. I'll take that. Oh, he even blocked us. Oh! Guys, we may be in with a chance. We may be in with a chance. Okay, he can. If he goes for three, he can kill us. But we've got three wizards. I don't. Guys, I don't know what's happening. I don't get it. What's going on? Okay. Um. I don't know if I want to attack. Do I want to? Right, he can't touch me at all. Go for four, please. Oh, what is going on? This is like the perfect battle. What? What the flip? I'll take it. I'll I'll do it. Also, we, I've got light shining in. And I'm going to need to close the window. Right, otherwise it'll mess with the green screen. Okay. Okay, so he's got one possible block. And I think I can kill him in a good amount here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Went for it. Oh, I think we're in with a good chance, guys. In with a good chance. So two, four, six. He may kill us in three. He might just go for it. He might just go for an all-out attack of four. Does go for it. That will kill me. Um, but we got four, like 3,000. We won. We friggin' did it. There you have it. Oh, five. Level 415 T-Rex. Hoo-hoo, doggy. Right. There you go. 100 in a uh, common pack, which unfortunately I don't think can give us, um, what do you call it? I don't, I don't think it can give us books. But you know what? We did it. We got some VIP points. And again, like I said, if we ever need books, you just spend it all on that stuff. You spend it all on, um, oh, I did one extra. I didn't need to. You spend it all on the cheapest VIP point pack, which I think is about, is it a thousand? I can't remember. What is it? Uh, it's 2,000. And that gives you a chance of winning up to 300 bucks a pack. So 10 packs could be 3,000 bucks. So for 20,000 VIP points, it could be 3,000 bucks. And for 200,000, it's 30,000 bucks. So that's saying that will never happen because that is the best chance you'll ever get. And you won't get it every time. <laughs> I can assure you that. Um, so we'll pop in here again, put down another doobie, um, now what, how many more? Okay, and we need to fuse, we need to fuse a couple more times, and then even fuse legendary creatures. Um, wow, okay. So what other battles do we have to do? Okay, fight for funds is always just friggin' ridiculous. Um, however, that's not too bad. I'm looking at the Thornax and Gallimimus. That really isn't that bad. But I have to do three battles of this. Chances are the second battle is going to be just too tough and it'll be a waste. Um, right, okay. So we've got the PvP. So we need to do the PvPs anyway. Um, in order to start getting towards the... Um, oh god, there it is. Start to get towards the boss DNA stuff that we need. So I'm just going to put an alpha. We'll put on two alphas. Now this is how you win every time. Every time, almost without fail, you will win by doing this. Because they will put up against your creatures, which is usually the same levels. However, um, this loadout with mods is just way better. So it wounds me, right? But then we nullify it, so we don't we don't lose that wound, I don't think. Um, or at least... Does it not? It should do. Where's my nullification on? What the, what the hell? I just lost health. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's not fair. What? Okay. 
Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have given him help. I should have given him help. That's what I should have done. Okay, well, there you go. Hopefully, when that's gone, the wound comes back and I get my health back. Do I? I don't think I do. Oh, oh, here we go. There you go. Ha <laughs> ha! Have no idea what that mod was, but you don't get it. And he's gonna kill us. Oh, dear. Okay. Um. Oh, no. And then we're weak against it, I think. Oh. Ooh. This is not... This is not a good matchup. Um. However, he went for a full-on attack here. Uh, so I can go for one, two, and then kill him, and then go for a reserve. And we've got a good tight matchup anyway. Um, what's this? What's that mod? It's a silver. What does it do? Predation. Oh, it made his uh, his boost way better. His type advantage. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't even know that was... I like the little graphics they made for... All the little stuff that I just miss. Right. So does that mean that... Okay, it's only if he's better. But you know what? We killed him anyway. So even... That was pretty bad as far as using those mods goes. Like, maybe the worst you could probably get. Um, I even think the worst one is probably a shuffle. If you come up against a shuffle modification, that just means that all that, you know, preparation you put into your mods means absolutely nothing. Um, but we have to do that in order to get, I think it's like 50 bucks. 60 bucks, my god. Um, and then we'll get another one of you. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll place you in. And then we'll make another one of you. And then we will do the Cenozoic one now. Uh, same thing again. Just make, su make sure you switch to Cenozoic. Um, pick the one with the most attack, which is actually the cave bear. And then do the same. I guess what you could do is go for two invigorates. And that way you'll definitely not die. Um... But I feel as though um, you kind of want to do it. If you're going to do a mix, do Invigorate first and then Alpha. Because if your first creature dies, your second one will still have the extra attack. It won't have the health, but it'll still have the attack. And you'd, I think you'd rather have that than the second creature have... Oh no, this is a swap. I think that's a swap. Oh, this could be bad. Um, unless I nullify it. I am assuming I do. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's prevent swap. That's what that one is. Okay. No idea what the other one is on the other team. So, we actually kill it in the perfect one hit. Wow. That... That's very lucky. That is very lucky. Um, don't know what that does, but we're going to nullify it anyway. And that's why nullifying is just the best mod. It just... It takes priority. It just nullifies everything. <laughs> what would that have been? Steal opposing creatures mod one time use. So do you get to choose? Or is that as soon as you switch in? That's interesting. So look at a 640 health there basically. And 144 attack. It went for two I think. So we can just go for one and kill it. Because they've almost had the same health. <laughs> they really do. It's like one less. Why is that emoji not centered? On that picture. And there you go. Nullified that. It's just the best mod. Like, that's how you can do... You can rattle off these daily quests to get your books and also go towards the Valkyrie. Yes. So we're over halfway. Within the next couple of days, I should be pretty close as well to unlocking it. Um, because a lot, of, a lot of the things that we've got to do, apart from the daily missions, I can sort of crank out like the Tropogonathus and winning battles and fusing stuff. That doesn't really take too long. Oh, we got a Micro-Istian APAC. No way. Yes. And that's going towards uh, Valkyrie because we need to get so much super DNA and we're getting it. Um, yeah, playing this game just became loads of fun. It's loads of fun. Uh, so we'll, we'll fuse these guys. Yes. And another one. Fuse that, evolve that, activate that, speed it up. Which could be useful for uh, some regular daily missions. Um, so that's that done. Um, oh! Participate in any three PvP arena battles. Oh, okay. So now we just need to collect the mods, which again, isn't really that hard. Just go into here and then throw money at your raptors as if they were a, a wishing well or something. The wishing well. I like that song. I can't remember who that's by. Is it Stratavarius? Or Angra. I think it's Angra who did that song. A 
can't remember the rest of the lyrics, actually. <laughs> I just remember Wishing Well. Berserk can be quite good as well. But because we're dealing with such low-level creatures, 20% of 14 attack is nothing. Uh, higher up, it's probably better. And there you go. There's DNA, DNA. Don't know why it gives you two of them, but there's, there's two different DNAs there. And then participate in one more PvP battle. Um, so we'll do that and we'll collect... Well, you know what? I'll say... Mm, yeah, I'll save that. We got a VIP exclusive event. Now, these are pretty decent. However, the only real prize you get from it is... Yeah, look at that. There's one card that is... Is gonna be like a decoration. It, it's a high chance it's probably decoration. Actually, there's a higher chance it's DNA, so not too bad. Um, and then th that's mainly food. That's mainly coin. And this one is just a mix of more likely to be those guys than a Dimetrodon or that. Okay, so you've got more chance of getting a T-Rex or an Ichthyostega. Interesting. I wonder why that is. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to wrap up this video. It's been a short one. I just wanted to showcase... Um, you know, talk about the, the glitches in the game that there are at the moment. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, stay tuned on the channel because we will have another video up in a second. As long as I can actually edit it in time. I've actually had a little bit later start today, so we'll see how James does. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.